minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Chairman Scott, for yielding and for your leadership on this important legislation. I rise in strong support of the bipartisan Protecting Older Workers Against Discrimination Act. My home state of Oregon has one of the most rapidly aging populations in the country, and I have heard from many workers, particularly those in the te technology industry, who believe they have been dismissed or denied employment because of their age. In fact, six in ten older workers say they have experienced age discrimination, 90 percent say that it is common. My office has helped older workers who have filed age discrimination complaints before the Equal em uh, Employment Opportunity Commission, but the burden of proof is very high and often results in uncertain outcomes. Congress recognized the need to protect older workers from pervasive age discrimination when it enacted the Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967. But decades later, in 2009, the Supreme Court in Gross v. FBL Financial Services imposed a much higher burden of proof for workers to prove age discrimination under the ADEA. Because of the court's holding in gross, workers now must prove that age discrimination was the decisive cause for their employer's adverse action, rather than just a motivating factor in their employer's adverse action. So earlier this year, I joined Chairman Scott in reintroducing the Bipartisan Protecting Older Workers Against Discrimination Act. This needed bill is a common-sense legislative fix that will simply restore the pre-2009 standard in age discrimination claims and, importantly, align the burden of proof with the same standards for proving discrimination in other areas, such as those based on sex, race, religion, and national origin. As we discussed during the joint Civil Rights and Human Services and Workforce Protection Subcommittee hearing earlier this year, Americans are living longer and working longer. We must make sure they are protected from age discrimination. And, Mr. Speaker, I request unanimous consent to enter into the record a a letter from the Leadership Council of Aging Organizations in support of the Protecting Workers Against Discrimination Act. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I urge all of my colleagues to stand up for older workers and to support this bipartisan, bicameral bill, and I yield back the balance of my time.